Hey guys, my name is Francisco Hernandez and today I want to show you how I use the new AI tool in Photoshop called Generative Fill, how I'm going to use that to extend some of my images. And actually I wanted to say how I would extend the images, but just to show you guys how simple and easy it is to use this tool, I wanted to bring on my wife. Uh, she never edits photos in Photoshop, so I wanted you guys to see her extend my images using this new tool to show you really how simple this tool is to use. But before we continue, I do want to let you guys know that this video is sponsored by Adorama. <laughs> Adorama. <laughs> Adorama is an industry leading retailer that has been serving photography, videography, and audio customers for almost 50 years now. Their motto is everyone is a creator and they do their best to unleash that creator within us all, including her, by providing us with the tools and expertise necessary to get the job done right. I personally shop at Adorama for both the great deals on products I use and recommend, plus the great customer service on those products as well. If you find yourself interested in any products I talk about in today's video, feel free to check out the links that are going to be in the description area below and be sure to use those links if you decide to order. So on the image is the first photo that we're going to be working with today. It's a photo I took on the beach, I think, I think 2021. And we're going to go ahead and just start right into the extending of the image. So get the crop tool. That is going to be C on the keyboard. Okay. It's the shortcut is C. Just, just click it. Yeah, just click it. Oh. Okay. And now you have the crop tool. And one of the important things to do when you're extending the images using this tool is on the top where it says delete cropped pixels and content aware, you want to make sure that those are unchecked. So they're unchecked, right? Yes. Okay, so they're unchecked. And now you can start to expand the image. All you're going to do is just simply grab what side that you want to expand. Let's go from, let's make it like wide, like a landscape shot. So grab that one, bring it to the, yeah, a lot, like a lot, a lot, a lot. Right there, right there. And then the left side, bring it to the left side. Right about, the, yeah, that's perfect, right there. Now all I have to do is hit enter on the keyboard. You can either use the lasso tool or the marquee tool. I've been using both. For the sake of simplicity, let's just grab the marquee tool. So that one right there, that rectangle on top there. You can either use the shortcut, which is gonna be M, I believe, or it says right there on the screen, M, <laughs> or you can just go ahead and click it on the side. And now I want you to go ahead and start to select not the entire blank spot because it actually works better when you're working with like smaller sections. So you can realistically get a good uh, result by selecting all the blank images on the left and the right, but it's better to work in like sections. Just click there and then go drag all the way down to like half of that space, a little bit, half, half. <laughs> click again and click the blank spot right there. Just any blank spot, okay, okay. click, yeah. And then go back to the top. Okay. Yeah, a little bit more, a little bit to the right. And then you click and then drag bottom to the left or to the bottom left. Bottom. Okay. All, yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit more to the right, uh, right there. And now, now it's simple <laughs> right now. You have to just click generate it, fill on the top there. Okay. And then click it. And then now click generate. And this is the result. Yep. Do you like it? Yeah, it looks it looks really realistic. I mean, I, I think it looks cool. I just think like the, the building's a little bit repeated. Right here. So maybe on the next try, grab like the whole left side on the top, bottom left or top left yeah right there and then go down all the way to the bottom right all the way and up. then go a little bit over that that repeated building and now what are you gonna do generative fill and then generate and then just wait and wait yeah <laughs> <laughs> the result looks good but i forgot to actually tell you guys something every time you create a new generative fill layer that's what it's called it actually creates three different variations so the result on the screen right now i actually do like but click on the other two generations or variations and how do you feel about that one? There are less buildings. <laughs> so is it good or no? Um, I I don't like it because like go to the previous one. I like this one more because the horizon seems like it's better. Like it's not perfect going a little bit down, but the second one, click on it. It feels like it's kind of too like down, like it's like too warped. So show them the third variation. I kind of like the sky on this one. How do you feel about this one compared to the second and the first? With this one, I feel like it's you can. It's like a more city vibe compared to the first one, which was like. Like more of like less city <laughs> oh yeah but like do you want city vibe or you want not city vibe i think i like this one so i guess it just kind of depends on what you're looking for if you want that city vibe but like i like where our area is and so this kind of feels like this is like our homey south padre island vibe oh, okay so the like the other one was like not actually true to the to the island so you want to yeah. stay yeah yeah, so like this one would be like if I felt like I was in Miami or something. I don't oh, know. Oh yeah, because there's more buildings. Yeah, yeah, I don't know if they're this high, but. And know. actually, I don't think that because the sky on this one it has like a like a darkish gray blob on the top left. And the first one, click on it. Like it it also has a grayness, but it's like at the very corner, so it's not like intrusive to the photo. That's that's how I feel about it. So we both like the first variation. Yeah. Yeah. So let's just keep going. We're gonna grab the marquee tool again. I think you already have it selected. Mm -hmm. And then half of the 
space. Yeah, you can start right there and then go all the way down to the bottom and half of the free space right there. And then what are you going to do again? You, <laughs> so let, let, you, you let go of the, the, <laughs> the mouse, select generative fill, and then generate. Oh, it only gave us one variation. This is something that's kind of an error that's been showing up every now and then whenever I've been working on these images. I might select something that's not, you know, inappropriate at all, but then it generates something and then thinks it's inappropriate. So then it only generates the appropriate version. So what we're going to do is do the same thing again. I'm going to have her select a good chunk of the right side. And then let's see if it can actually do a better job at generating three variations, generative fill variations of this section. So go ahead and do that. What? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? <laughs> that was the first variation. Go to the second one. And okay, this but... this one actually looks pretty cool because it actually it. I was curious if it would get like if it would end the um lifeguard box there. Third variation, you know what I'm actually most impressed by is like how the lighting is accurately hitting where it was. So so which one do you <laughs> like the most? The first one? Uh, <laughs> I, I like this I one. Like that one. Minus that whatever the Freak that is. <laughs> it's like a fish. <laughs> Let's just keep the second one. Let's just go ahead and just stop this image for now and then okay. go to the second image. <laughs> And now on the screen, we have an image from a photo shoot that we did, I wanna say either last year with Joanna, or if not, if not last year, I think two years ago. Again, let's just, I'll just take it off to Ashley, you know, leave it to her to do what you're gonna do. So let's go ahead and just have Ashley go ahead and grab the marquee tool again and then select not just like all the empty space, but kind of go in. And the reason for doing this is because again, when you select a little bit of the image like that, creating like a little bit of a border, it's giving the AI something to sample with. So then it can use that to get better results. So now again, control shift I. And now that everything in the blank area is selected, plus a little bit of the image, now we can just do the generative fill and then generate and then click OK. And this is the result. And so we have our three options. How do you feel about the first one? I want you to say oh. it. Is. You, you. <laughs> oh, I like it. I like that it has like a foreground like right here. It actually created like a, like one of those thick things yeah. up right here. So it's like... Like if we were intentionally in the grass. Like, yeah, and we we're aiming to add it in there. And this is the second result. So it looks like it pretty much did uh, the same thing, just a, a, a bit of a variety. And how do you feel about this third variation? This third one I feel like they added more foreground uh, but now on both sides so that's the before and then this is the after yeah and we'll go ahead and just save that and then go to the third image that we're gonna work on and now this is our third image that we're gonna be working with I was actually thinking it'd be interesting to like get like have like a rule of thirds and then it just means like if you split the image into three should be like on the left third probably start just right after the lamp post leave yeah then now you're good you have a good amount of the image selected and then same generate. thing generate a fill and then generate <laughs> I'm, wondering, I'm wondering what's gonna show oh, oh. Go okay to, go to, uh, go to, go to, something go, different go to, this, go to the second variation i'm curious to see that i like to it's interesting street. but it's not like it's not completely like real whoa it created a street <laughs> that is actually cool because it actually cre it created the car on the on the right there. What's this third one? It's super this random. Is, this is a house being constructed on, and then <laughs> and then another building. So she's like in a small, it's like a barn or like an alley. Is that? So go, go back to the first one. I actually think it looks good. The third one or the first one? Oh, not the first one. My bad. The second one. Go to the second one. But how do you feel about this one? It looks pretty good. The bottom right. I see that on the very bottom right. This? It's actually out of focus. Like it's not realistic depth of oh, field. Okay. So I might select that portion again. Um, but I want you to actually get the lasso tool instead because it's it's better to use the lasso tool when it's just smaller sections. Okay, so yeah, see, now it looks a little bit better. The thing about AI is that it kind of feels like a bit of like, I don't know how to describe it, but more like a fever dream. Like there's like things that you're seeing in the background that they seem like they make sense. But then like when you start to really focus, you're like, oh, that doesn't make sense. Like that kind of looks like a car, but it's not really a car. But the one on the, the right side actually looks like a car and that's like a building and that's the doorway to the building. Yeah. We're gonna, we wanted to end this video, but the last thing I wanted to do is create a car. Oh, oh, okay, so, I mean, it's a little bit, like... But that, like, I mean... Like, she's tall, right? Like, she'd be, like... The, the car kind of doesn't make sense a little bit, so, like... So, that's something that I was actually worried about, because, like, you, if you make... <laughs> if you, like, select a big area of the image, then it's going to make the thing that big. And now the second one, we'll see, hopefully, the second one looks... I mean, this one looks funky, too, but, I mean, oh, the light that's hitting from the sunset that's now hitting on the car. It's like creating a rim, like... You click the third variation, let's see how that looks like. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> what is this? It's like I it's asked for 1960s. It gave me like, like it's a, Fast and it? the Furious. <laughs> it's like a modded car. Um, that's gonna be pretty much it for this video. I just want to say one last thanks to Adorama for sponsoring this video because it does really allow me to focus more time on making videos for you guys. So definitely check out Adorama. Um, I was gonna say take care, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. But you'll see me, but you won't see her. Unless you guys really vote and let me know in the comments if you want to see more of Ashley. Because if you do want to see more of her, then I'll add her more into my videos. But uh, yeah, take care guys and I'll, I'll see you in the very next video.